Here I am, pulling out this 3.4 liter Toyota motor. And it seems to be storming a little bit. Oh man, it's coming down. It is coming down. What am I gonna do? Keep wrenching, I guess. Oh my God, it's lighting up. Trixie, stay here, Trixie, no. Trixie, what are you doing out here in the rain? Wherever I go, I will always know. Everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. A lot of people want to know, what do we do when it's raining outside? Well, we've experienced our first long stretch of rain in a really long time. We're getting about a quarter inch a day here. It's been coming down and we just had another torrential downpour here. And well, today I'm editing videos and I'm painting. We're adding in a little more color to our camper. We've been painting our walls white here, getting rid of the ugly wallpaper. We're just painting over it with a primer and a paint. And then I like to do wall murals. So we're gonna do murals on a couple of the walls and add a little color to our camper. Nick was working on a friend's truck and now he's trapped under the tents over there because it's raining so hard. I don't think you should come back right now. It's like a mudslide outside. But yeah, normally we just hang out inside, do projects we can inside, watch movies, edit videos, and just catch up on emails and things like that. It actually rained so hard the other night that the Vespa started sinking in the mud and it was tipping over by morning. It was kind of tilted on its side and we're a little worried that the camper has begun to sink a little bit into the mud and we are already at a point where we have to max it out to get it on the truck. So if we sink too far, we might have a little bit of trouble getting this thing back on the truck. But we will find out when we leave here in a few weeks. No rainbow this time. Not yet anyway. It's raining pretty good though. Pretty good. Now that this massive storm has completely passed by, we just need to wait for the ground to dry out a little bit before we continue resolving our electrical issue. This is how you build a house around a trailer. Meanwhile, we've been rushing to help complete our friend's roof before the rainy season fully sets in. The rains out here can be brutal, with mudslides, falling trees, and the privately maintained dirt road can easily wash out with no warning. Nick happened to be the passenger in this close call. Yeah. Smooth out that road. Amorous to the rescue! Thank you, buddy. This windy, rutted, one-lane road is difficult to navigate, and after a storm, it's even worse. All I want is I want you to put your foot on the brakes, turn the wheels uphill with it running, put it in neutral. Nick, you want to jump in here or what? No, man. You got this, brother. Put your brakes on, turn the wheels all the way towards me. Alright, you got it. Oh, watch out. I'm gonna put a little tension on and then it usually needs to break off and it feels like it's coming towards me. Good. If it feels like it's moving back, kinda of put it back on. Alright. It's going. Going. Alright. No power. Oh. If you've seen some of our older episodes, you know Nick loves helping vehicles out of tough situations. But this one, he left to a professional with the right equipment. Emrys is the first local this community calls when a driving mishap occurs on this crazy back road.
Yeah. Oh yeah. Turbo spooling up. Awesome, thank you. Oh, cheers, man. I'm, I'm always glad when those go smooth. You're the man. You know? Yeah, that was good stuff. We had a um, really big heat wave here in Northern California um, about three weeks ago. It was like 117 degrees. When I originally built this electrical system, I built it on a 12 volt system, and I didn't know as much as I'm learning now. Uh, and turns out it probably should have done a 24 volt system. I'm biting the bullet now and I'm converting everything over to 24 volts because during that heat wave, our batteries got damaged somehow. Luckily, we have Battleborn batteries and they have a fantastic warranty uh, for 10 years. So they're exchanging them out for new batteries for us, which is wonderful. Thank you, Battleborn, for backing us up like that. You guys are amazing. But I figured I'd do a little bit of prevention for if we ever run into that situation again, maybe I can build this electrical system better so that it's uh, creating less heat in the battery compartment and maybe we can minimize that risk in the future. So um, we're going to a 24 volt system. So I've got the system wired up um, and it's time to put our 24 volt batteries in. <clears throat> Aha! Just like that. Good girl, Jason. Mm hmm. What's your rating? 27.63. Should it be? Right there. Uh huh. Just testing all my grounds. Let's turn it on, see what happens. So far, so good. Not working. So Nick's still working on the electrical system. The sun's gone down. It's about 7.30 tonight, and so we had to make dinner by headlamp. Luckily, the propane still works, so we still have a nice hot dinner. But he's still working on that. He's got the 110 working, but not the 12 volt, which runs our lights and our water pump. Not to mention, our fridge has been off for, oh, probably six, seven hours now. So we're trying not to open that up, trying to keep everything cold in there because we may or may not have power for that all night. So we're still working on trying to get that set up, but we're doing candles and headlamps for light right now. I got a headlamp over there and we're just gonna have a cozy evening if he doesn't get that figured out. Hopefully he does, cause it's a little chilly tonight. It'd be nice to have the heater and use the toilet. This electrical cabinet got a lot more crowded since the last time I showed it to you guys. Um, we have now taken it upon ourselves to switch our battery bank system over to 24 volts um, from 12 volts because it's much more efficient. Uh, there's less amp draw going through the wires. Um, as we found out, we were using too small of wires for our amp draw that we were pulling and that's 
potentially what led to our problems. We're not entirely sure. I really wish I would have done it a long time ago when I first built this system. But you know, you live and you learn. I didn't, I didn't really understand electricity to the level that I do now back then. By the way, we are an affiliate of Battleborn Batteries. I'm excited to announce as of now. So uh, if you find, look in the description, there's a link. Um, and if you follow that link and you purchase Battleborn Battery, anything, uh, the, the Victron, the batteries, uh, hardware, whatever, we get 6%. So you'll be supporting our channel and really helping us out. Um, that's, that's a relationship that we've been trying to build with them for years now, and we finally got it. And if you wanna know the intricate details of how this system was put together, make sure you tune in for Maintenance Money. We're gonna make a video for you, and we're gonna show you exactly how I did this. That's what's going on. <laughs> finally got it all figured out. Uh, my hip is feeling much, much, much better. Um, I have an appointment coming up in three days. Uh, by the time this video goes live, I will have been to that appointment, come back, got the results and everything. And they're just gonna do an x-ray, make sure that everything's hunky-dory. And it's feeling good enough that I'm, I'm willing to bet that it's okay. And everything healed up well. Oh, my poison oak healed up nicely. Yeah, looking beautiful again. I think that's it, man. We're um, we're getting ready for the rain here. We're helping my buddy build his house. And so we're trying to get that all dried in before the big storms come. So that's kind of our focus right now. Um, I got a couple truck projects that I'm working on for friends of mine, make a little cash on the side. You know how it is. This uh, adventure is getting kind of expensive and we're running out of cash. So got to start working to pay the bills. Speaking of which, please uh, join us on our Patreon. Simple as $3 a month, um, really goes a long ways. I mean, we've got uh, 2,300 subscribers. If every one of you gave $3 a month, we'd be doing all right. <laughs> if half of you gave $3 a month, we'd be doing all right. <laughs> For those of you that are contributing to our travels, man, I really appreciate you. Uh, we really couldn't do this without you and um, the support that you guys give us on your comments and the shout outs uh, throughout that whole time that I, my hip was broken and everything seemed to be going wrong. You guys pulled me through and I appreciate every single one of you. Um, every one of you that comes in every single week and checks out our videos and drops in and says hi and gives us some love. I love you guys. Thank you so much. You keep me going. All right, till next time. See you next week. Is there anybody on the other side? No. You just holding walls. Just holding walls. Latte is a part of the family. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first dog to follow us. No, she's my Pacino, Pacino latte. latte. <laughs>